Hi, my name is Linda Russell Sheed and I'm the Assistant Superintendent here at Chowchilla Elementary School District. And I'm here with another book for you from the Chowchilla Elementary Staff Reading Corner. Today's book is called Koala Lu, and it's written by one of my favorite authors. Her name is Mem Fox. Uh, Mem Fox is an author that lives and grew up in Australia. Um, for those of you that don't know, if I had a globe in my hand, the United States is in the Northern Hemisphere, which is the top part. Australia is in the Southern Hemisphere, which is the bottom part. And actually they're on the bottom in the back of the globe. So they're the opposite of where we are in the United States. Um, as a result of that, another interesting fact, when Australia is having summer, we in Northern America are having winter. When we're having winter, they're having summer. So the weather is the complete opposite times of the year. When I was there in June, several years ago, they had things out for Christmas because people were traveling and wanted to pick up Christmas stuff because up here it was Christmas. It was very interesting to be someplace where they're decorating for Christmas, but it's in the middle of summer. So back to the book. In Australia, they have different animals than we do. So one of the animals they have are koala bears. Um, this book is about a koala bear named Koala Lu. There once was a baby koala so soft and round that all who saw her loved her and her name was Koala Lu. The emu loved her, the platypus loved her, and even little tough koala claws loved her. This is the picture of the emu. This little guy is a platypus, but you can see, these don't all look like animals that we see all the time here in the United States, but they're animals that are from Australia. But it was her mother who loved her most of all, a hundred times a day. Her mother would laugh and shake her head and say, Koala Lu, I do love you. Whenever she stretched in the early morning sun or climbed a gum tree or bravely went down the path all by herself, her mother would smile and say, Koala Lu, I do love you. I'll show you the picture a little close. The years passed and other koalas were born, brothers and sisters for Koala Lu, and soon her mother was so busy she didn't have time to tell Koala Lu that she loved her. Even though, of course, she did. Here's some pictures of Koala Lu's siblings climbing in the gum tree. And you can see Koala Lu's feeling a little left out. And we know sometimes mom and dad do get busy and maybe don't take time to tell us as often as they do. We would like them to that they love us, but we know they do. Every night, as she curled up under the stars, Koala Lu thought about the times when her mother had looked at her and said, Koala Lu, I do love you. And she longed to hear that said again. One night, Koala Lu had a splendid idea. Preparations had started for the Bush Olympics. She would enter the Bush Olympics. She would compete in the gum tree climbing event. She would win and her mother would fling her arms around her neck and say again, Koala Lu, I do love you. You can see the owl. Koala Lu began her training right away. She jogged and puffed and lifted weights and panted. She hung from a branch with one claw at a time until she ate. 
She did push-ups till her stomach hurt. And last of all, she climbed the tallest tree she could find over and over and over again. You can see her working out. And they're getting ready for the Bush Olympics. Sometimes her mother would watch her and ask, How are you doing, Blossom? Fine, just fine, Koala Lou would reply. So Koala Lou is up at the top of that gum tree. When they talk about a gum tree in this book, that's the same as a eucalyptus tree here. They're the same tree, they just call it something different. They grow really tall. At last, the day of the Bush Olympics arrived. I'll let you see everybody in there. All of the animals are in their best outfits to go and watch and cheer on all the competitors in the Bush Olympics. Koala Claws also had entered the gum tree climbing event and everyone knew how fast Koala Claus was. But Koala, Koala Lou wasn't scared. She saw her mother in the crowd and imagined her saying, Koala Lou, I do love you and her heart filled with hope. So here's the gum tree they're gonna have to climb and we've got Koala Claus at the bottom waiting for their turn and we've got Koala Lou standing there as well. And can you pick out Koala Lou's mom and the audience out there waiting? She's got a yellow hat on. It was Koala Claus who went first. Her climb was a record-breaking 22 meters in 70 seconds flat. The spectators whistled and cheered wildly and waved their party hats. When they say something is 22 meters, a meter is kind of close to a yard. It's a little bit longer. And the yard we know is 36 inches. Can I do better than that, wondered Koala Lou. I must. As she stepped towards the tree, a hush fell over the crowd. On your mark, said the kookaburra. Get set. Go. And there's Koala Lou. What do you think she did? Did she freeze or did she jump right to it and get going? Let's see. Koala Lou leapt into the tree. Up and up and up she climbed, higher and higher and higher, faster and faster and faster until she was right at the very top. The spectators roared and clapped and stamped their feet. Oh my goodness, they're all so happy for her. Can you see the emu with the blue hat? She wasn't fast enough. In spite of all of her training and all of her hoping, it was Koala Claus who won the gum tree climbing contest. Koala Lou came in second. Koala Lou went off and hid. She heard the shouts of the Bush Olympics and cried her heart out. We all have those times when we want something really bad and it just doesn't work the way we want it. And it is a sad time. When the first stars of evening appeared in the sky, Koala Lou crept home through the dark and up into the gum tree. Her mother was waiting for her and before she could say a word, her mother flung her arms around her neck and said, Koala Lou, 
I do love you. I always have and I always will. And she hugged her for a very long time. I have to make think that that made Koala Lou feel really good. Because that's what she was wanting the whole time, was just another hug from mom and another I love you, I really do love you. So, I hope you enjoyed the book. And I'm going back to my stacks to find another book to read you for another day. Thanks for stopping by.